Cutting your subject out and adding a new background has never been easier with the brand new Remove Background and Generate Background tools in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you this brand new feature in Photoshop. It's a simple way to remove your backgrounds and add new ones. So we're jumping into our sample image here. Let's go up right over here to our contextual taskbar. We're going to go to remove background. Now this is basically a select subject mixed with a layer mask. So you can see it selected our subject and added it to a layer mask. And now we have a new option. We can go to generate a background using AI. Of course, we can just import a background and this is just going to be a standard. It's going to put it back there, but not trying to like blend it together or anything. And here we go. Generate background is our brand new feature. So let's go ahead and click there. And this is generative fill. Let's just say busy city street. There we go and click on generate. Now, this is basically just a couple of different technologies coming together, but we have a new button. So we got to celebrate that here in Photoshop. So basically it did a select subject. It added to the layer mask, cut out our subject, and now it's combining these together to create these busy city streets. Honestly, it did a pretty good job. The shadows look good. The box is still there. That was part of our subject and it did the background out of focus. You can see here in our layers, basically this is what it did. It selected our subject, okay, put it in a layer mask, and then put a new background for our subject. I think this is actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It, it did a good job. Now I wanna see one more version. I wanna show you like how to kind of like trick this out a little bit or just add some variation. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this layer here. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. So we're gonna click and drag this to the new layer icon here. There we go. And then let's just click on this layer mask and drag it to the trash. So we're just gonna throw that layer mask away. Let's hit delete. So basically it's kind of like you have your original image. I just wanted to keep these around just in case we wanted to see them. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and click on remove background one more time. Okay, it's gonna basically just do the same thing. You can see there. All right, let's go and make those others invisible. So remove background, this is basically like how it would start. But this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to my rectangular marquee tool and I'm gonna select from the bottom of the image. We're just gonna go like this, selecting the basically the bottom, the floor of this image, and then click on the layer mask, okay? And then I just wanna fill this. We're gonna fill this and we're just gonna fill this with white. There we go. So basically what we're doing is I'm just bringing back the original floor, okay? That's what we're doing here. We're bringing back the original floor. Now, this means that this part is gonna be absolutely perfect, but I can generate whatever I want back here. So we can still use the same exact tools. I can still click on generate background. You can see it, it has all the same information because I did go through the remove background step. I just added the floor back. Let's go to generate background and we're gonna type in roof top big city skyscraper. There we go. So let's click on generate. Now, basically what you can do you can see from this selection, it's going to keep this floor here. It's going to look 100% real because it, it will be. <laughs> That's still going to be a photograph. And then just right behind my subject is going to be generated a new background. So here you can see, look at that. How amazing is that? We have a few different options here. I think this first one looks really good. We have like a railing and the busy like city behind it. So it looks like she's now on the rooftop. All right, I want to take these together. We're going to show you this other brand new tool. I wasn't planning on this. But we now have an upscale. So let's go ahead and click on this upscale. It's enhancing the detail and it's going to make it look a little bit more realistic in the background there. How cool is this? Let's go ahead and group those different options together. There we go. Let's group those. So you can see this is, let's go to our original photograph here. Fantastic. This is the original photo. Looks really good. Here's the first option that we did with our remove background and then replace background and generate background. And then here's the second where we just replaced the top of the background. So you can see we're using these new tools. We have a lot of different options. You can completely replace the entire background or just part of it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Bye everyone.